We're going to use a cupping movement. Make sure that your hand is in this position, which means that you're not going to actually slap the client. There'll be an air pocket between you and the client. And it goes like this. Make sure that you come right down just uh, at the highest point of the thigh because that's where your gluteus maximus inserts. What you want to take care of is that you don't come down the center line of the buttock. This feels very uncomfortable for your client. When you come to this side, you can't quite get in here, so you need to swing your elbow up. And to the other side. and swing the elbow up and across and swing the elbow up and just smooth it down. Bring the tail back just to expose the sacral area because this is the area that we're going to be working in next. You need to move up to the head end of the table to do this. And standing at the head end of the table, your hand glides down. And this just introduces your touch to this area of the body where you're going to be working. So one hand comes up as the other hand goes down. About here, apply a little pressure on the sacrum. This feels lovely. It starts to elongate the base of the spine. So it's alternating hands. Make sure that your hands are moulding to the parts of the body that you're working on. The next move we're going to do is a move on the sacrum. You bring your hands to rest on the sacrum. The sacrum is a triangular bone. I'll outline it with my thumbs. It comes here to there like that. And we're going to be working this area in here. The move looks like this. Pressure on going down, pressure off coming up. 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 And you glide back to starting position. And again, the pressure is pushing away from you. So as you use your body weight behind this. A wonderful move, it helps to relax the lower back. And then we just glide down back to starting position. Then bring your hands just to glide up the back, move to the side of the table and we're going to work the sides of the body. We're going to actually work this area here first and then you can repeat the same strokes on this side of the body. So you have to bear in mind where the spinal column is up through here because we're going to be working this side of the spinal column. Place out one hand about mid thoracic and that hand will move up towards the shoulder. The other hand then comes in and moves down towards the hip. 
This is an effleurage move, but it also starts to gently stretch the subcutaneous tissue.